Hi, I'm Michael O'Neill, and I run a company called It's About Social. My company focuses on any company where the person is essentially the business. I work with a lot of people in the multi-level marketing world, the network marketing world, a lot of real estate agents, a lot of athletes, doctors, personal trainers, you get the idea. For the last couple months, I've been working on a training for Udemy, and I posted a little demo video yesterday because I wanted to test out this setup. I wanted to test out my camera and the microphone and the workflow and sort of how everything went. And I had a lot of feedback on my video that was really good. People liked how it looked, they liked how it sounded, so, and they wondered how I did some of the effects that I did uh, in post-production. So what I thought I would do is just kind of shoot this little video and show you guys how I did it. Does that sound cool? So right now I'm gonna take you through a tour of my setup, which I'm gonna shoot with my iPhone. Um, in fact, I think I can do it while I'm live here, which will be kind of cool. Check this out. So I'm gonna show you how this works. Can I do this? Is there any way I can do this? I think I can do this. I'm gonna to totally try to do this and we'll see. And I'll just cut it in. We'll see how cool technology is. So I'm just in my backyard right now and I'll show you what this setup looks like. So I'm gonna start recording right now. Let's see if I can turn it on myself. So I'll start recording right now and I'm gonna take you through my little tour of my gear, okay? All right, so from a distance, this is what my studio looks like. It's really studio, I say studio, but it's like a tripod with a camera and a, and a laptop. Um, but first of all, it's the camera. This is a DSLR. This is actually a very fancy camera. Um, this is a Canon 5D Mark III. This is the latest and greatest that Canon has to offer. And I'm very fortunate that I happen to live with a professional wedding photographer and I have access to a beautiful camera. However, these results can be done even with an iPhone. Um, there are certain lenses that you can get that make the iPhone look great, uh, that you can clip right onto the iPhone. But it also has the ability to have some depth perception um, the other thing that's really cool is this microphone. I'm not going to unplug it, but I've got a microphone that's leading right here and it attaches to me on this really long cable, you can see this big long cable, to this little lavalier which is right here. I'm hoping you can get this because I can't see myself in here, but this little mic is what you're hearing right now. And I've just got a tripod. I've marked the floor so I can repeat the, um, you know, the shot every single time. And then I just have my laptop. And often I will have a slideshow or something on my laptop so that I can show um, the specific slides and I can talk through them. Then I can edit it in after the fact. So that's enough about that. I'm going to talk you through some of the cuts. All right. So that video is done. And. Um, so here's the other part, this is kind of cool. So what I've done here, as you can see, is this is a standard shot. I'm all the way to the left side of this shot. My laptop is over here. And the reason I did that, the reason I'm not centered, is because I wanted to have some flexibility in how I edited the movie. Uh, and I'll show you what that means. So let's say I'm talking about a specific subject and I want to give it some like uh, 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 exclamation point, or I really want to give some emphasis on a certain thing. Well, I can zoom it in Final Cut Pro, and I can show you what that looks like. So right now you're probably seeing a video of me editing this very part. So I'll talk you through that part when I do it, but, but right now what I want to do is I want to zoom really big, and this way you can totally see, oh my gosh, this is what I'm talking about right now. The other thing I like to do is a slow pan from one side to the other. So you'll notice that as I'm having this conversation, so let's say I'm right here and I'm talking about my awesome course, it's really, really cool. Well, I can use these effects, and right now, I'm gonna start talking, and the effect is going to be, I'm going to pan from one side to the screen to the other. And it's very subtle, but it makes a huge difference. There's movement, there's interest in there. It's not just one static shot. And you can see also that when I go from kind of a mid cut, so now this is a little bit closer, now I'm pinned all the way up to the left side of the screen, it allows me, if I wanted to, to say things right here. Because maybe I wanna do a little overlay, or I wanna say, hey, here's the slide, or here's like a, uh, a link that I wanna tell you about. And that gives me a little bit of room to do that. And I can pan back out again, and be just a regular standard shot. 
or I mean whatever there's the, the it's limitless because once you learn how to pan and zoom a little bit you can pretty much do anything you want but you have to be careful because it's like having your own little yeah it's like Christmas time and you want to just do anything you know like oh, this? so don't over edit but when you're talking be conscious of you, you can say things in chunks and that's how I record even though this long this one has been a big long recording typically I'll I'll say a paragraph or two and I'll nail those with a lot not a lot of ums and ahs or anything and then I'll say another chunk of paragraph but in my mind I think okay I'm gonna zoom right now I'm gonna think about how I'm gonna present it to the viewer at the end of this does that make sense anyway I hope this helped and I hope this sort of sounds good as I edit it all together but uh, there you go there's your little freebie with how I like to set up a little promotional video um, remember to always add a call to action at the end of it and for this one I want you to check out my new upcoming training course, Social Media Ninja Tactics for Network Marketers. Even if you're not a network marketer, you're going to learn everything you need to know about marketing your business with social media. I just chose that niche because I know a lot of people in it. All right, you guys have a good day.